again everyone today um i think we're just going to have a little bit of fun actually i saw something on a facebook page or group that just really made me smile so i thought i would do my own version uh, for you today and it was with this gummy pan apple dye this one i was sent very kindly by um, a friend of mine that I met some years ago um, at Ali Pali. She, I met her, I kind of knew her through my challenge blog that I started, Less Is More. And um, she lives out in Gibraltar and she sent me an apple and a pear. And some time ago, I think I did something with the pear, but I haven't used the apple before. So I thought I, I was going to use the apple today, but an apple not as we know it and um, I'll show you on this web website not website Facebook group a lady said the dye had been down on her desk like this and her husband looked at it and said oh where's the bandana from or the and I thought the bandit and honestly it looks it looks just like a bandit. So just let me show you what, what I'm going to do. I've cut two in black, like this. I'm going to put this one in there and these eyes in there. I'm going to colour this face colour, put on a mouth and a nose. And I'm going to, I've decided to, I made a little heart. So I thought I would emboss this back section with a heart embossing folder. Choose which one in a minute. Put this on the top and have him sort of peeking out like this. And I've done this on the computer. You stole my heart. It just, <laughs> it just made me smile. So we'll just go ahead and see how we get on, shall we? I don't know what we're going to do, but it's a question of whether I can make this look kind of nice without looking grim and uh, foreboding. So let me just... Um, uh, emboss this one first. I've got several here. This is hearts in rows, um, but offset each row like this. This one is actually just a brick wall. Don't know what that would look like. Brick wall might be all right, mightn't it? And this one is another one of hearts that's just in rows and rows and rows. Um, do you know, I think I was thinking hearts, but I picked that one out. I think I'm going to use the brick wall. See how we go on. It's got a few interesting places where, like, the bricks are falling apart. So I don't know what we'll see. Let's just do it and see, shall we? Got to get this straight because I'm going to put the heart straight on this. Right. I'll just emboss this one. My embossing plate. Oh dear, it's tough. Okay. Let's have a look at this and see what the heart looks like through it. It might look alright. I think it might look alright. So those three can be stuck together. Okay, there are just a small, this is just a five inch square card today. And I use this um, double stitched square. And I don't know what make that is. This one is memory box. It's um, an outside stitched so that you get the aperture in the middle and the stitching around the outside. The heart that you cut out from that comes out absolutely plain like this. Okay, so that's what I did for that. Now I think we'll have a go at this little chat. At that point, for some reason, my phone stopped recording. I think it was something to do with, of all things, my new hearing aids. I think if I touch my ear in a certain place, I can either answer the phone or ask a certain gentleman who speaks out of my watch sometimes a question. Anyway, he started speaking into my hearing aids. And it must have stopped the recording. Anyway, I'll try and pick up where we left off and, and see if we can actually get to the end. So I want to do this little chap. So I'm going to colour his face 
and stick in his eyes. So I need a little bit of tape just to put on the back of this die cut here to hold in his eyes. So when I stick the whites in, they will stay. So here we go. Here's a little bit of, put it on the back. There we go. And then I can pick up these two and stick them in. And that, the problem being, I don't, I'm a bit bothered about putting his eyes in because, or drawing in the pupils, because I don't want him to look, because of the angle of these the pips of, of the apple, I don't want him to look too menacing. So let me just, let me just do, do his eyes a minute. He's supposed to look, you know, kind of nice and not menacing. If you put them at the bottom, he looks cross-eyed. I didn't think that was a very good idea. Anyway, let's just... I'm sorry I'm croaky. I'm dreadful today, aren't we? Right, I'm going to colour his face. And I'm going to do it all over, first of all, with this garlic clove. These are my Nouveau alcohol markers. Right. Now I'm going to put rosy cheeks. Let's just put one about here and one about here and we'll just blend that in. Okay. I do want about the five o'clock shadow actually but um I think we'll do like this. Now, um, I want to put on a mouth, but I don't want him to look too kind of grim, ominous or threatening. So, he's supposed to be a friendly bandit, I think. So let's put his little mouth on here. And a nose. Does he look friendly? I hope he doesn't look too menacing anyway. Right, now I'm going to put some tape on the back right across here so I can stick that in. I hope it'll stay in position. Now this one, I'm going to go over the edge of this thin bit because I want that to be attached to the face as well. So that then I'll just trim the other bit off in a moment. Let's put this in. Put it flat on the tape, might be easier. There we go. Now I'll cut that excess off. The sharp ear would probably hear my husband singing. We're doing a concert next next weekend, and he's got a few solo lines to sing, so he's he's doing a bit of a rehearsal. It was what attracted me to my husband in the first place, would you believe? His voice. Let's get the right scissors. We got together on a Greyhound bus on a choir tour of the US and Canada. Those were the days. I don't want to put the glue onto that one. Just a few dots around this skinny bit. Right. There we go. Let's get in. Aligned. There we go. So my idea is this, that I have him peeking through the heart. So, because I've, um, oh, here's one, let me do this. I'm going to stick this on as the other end of his bandana wrap. So let's just do this. 
Oh dear. Technology it does get you, doesn't it? Right, let's just put a little bit on the back of this. And then we'll stick it on. There we go. Right. There. So there's my bandit, the man who stole my heart. Mine was stolen on a Greyhound bus in 1972. Goodness me. Anyway, I'm going to have to cheat now because I said I did all this when I thought I was recording before. So I'll just show you. And here it is. There's my heart stuck onto the embossed brick. I put my little face on the top and on the computer, you stole my heart. So if it may be a bit quicker than we thought it was going to be, but I just thought I'd share this really amusing use of a, a die. I think often we need to look at our dies in a different way and just see what we can make with them. I've used a, I know I've used a, a fir tree sprig as Father Christmas's beard before now. So, you know, there are ways. So anyway, have a bit of fun. Have a good day. Um, thank you for for liking, thumbs upping, subscribing, and all those lovely people who bought coffee. And oh, I'm just overwhelmed, really. And thank you so so much. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you next time. <laughs>